What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, it's starting to feel like summer madness again. It's going to happen pretty soon, man. I think this weekend is coming up, man. Summer Madness 11 is going down on the Caffeine app, man. I'm going to do my predictions on it right now, man. My little... My little preview, my little predictions, who I think gonna win and stuff, man. Um, I think it's going down in Houston, man. So this one to be turned up, man. Last time they was down there in Houston, man, they showed out. Um, we still ain't seen um Jack Boy Main Chain, man. But yo, let's, let's get into these predictions. Who, who, who first upon that? Well, first of all, I ain't gonna be talking about the um the MVP real name Brandon because I ain't watching none of them. I don't know nothing about them. I'm here for some of madness for that real talk, man. We're going to talk about Arsenal and Luke Castro. Hey, yo, big dog. Hey, I'm saying, man, you have no chance in hell, Luke Castro. Not saying you ain't good, but I'm saying that's Ars. Arsenal the rebel. The king of disrespect. You have no chance, brother. I mean, big shout out to you for making it to Summer Madness, man, because um, a lot of people say you don't deserve it. I don't know. Um... How much time you put in? I ain't really seen nothing except that two on two you did with K Shine, but um, your name been making waves though. Hey, yo, big dog. You know everybody love that right now. Um, Lou Castro, I don't see you getting around. To be honest with you, man, Arsenal man, he dope. He's super dope. He and um he on my Mount Rushmore. To be honest with you, man, when it come down to the the, the Mount Rushmores and all this talk. Arsenal got this, man. He from the clean up house, man. Um, he on summer madness. He got the show out. He ain't gonna let no, you know, no newcomer coming in and take what's his. He got a lot to prove, man. His brand's still big, man. So, you know, big shout out to Arsenal. I think he got this, man. 3-0. It ain't gonna be like no. It might be a, a a gentleman's thirty. You know, he gonna smoke him, but it ain't gonna be like. I don't know, man. Cause what color? He might not have nothing, bro. I don't know what he coming with. Um, but. Hold on, man. Yeah. All right, let's get on to the next one, man. Let's see who else. Easy to block captain versus chess. This one of them ones right here. Ain't going to be no winner in this unless somebody lose, you know. Ain't nobody going to win this battle right here. Easy to block captain versus chess. What is this? The Bronx versus Philly? I don't know where them niggas from. But, yo, easy to block captain. He talk, he talk different. Chess. He talked, hey man, this gonna be a talking battle, man. Like this, this one of the ones right here. I think this one in um, Geechee and and um, Calico. I think this is what everybody really want to see on this car. Cause hey, I'm telling you, man, this gonna be one of them talks, man. Chess finally getting that plate. You know he gonna be on summer madness. You know he like one of the best coming up. You know in the game. So everybody want to see him. Everybody want to see what he got. Easy to block captain came out of nowhere. I mean, he been around for a while, they say. But I'm saying he didn't that top tier. <laughs> to the top tier. Y'all know that song, man. He done came out with that. And he got his own wave, man. His own little he got his own niche, his own niche in the game, man, right now. And people love that he talk different, man. He he like the rookie of the year. I ain't gonna say he a rookie, man. But like out of this new class since the quarantine came, since the, the COVID era. He didn't stepped up, man, and I can't. I, I can't really predict nobody winning this one, man. I like. I want to. I want to give the chess, cause chess. He's still hungry out here. Easy. This man. It's a two-one either way battle right here. I ain't gonna. I'm saying it's gonna be a prediction video, but I don't think I can predict who gonna win these battles, man. I really can't. Not this one right here. Um. Easy. He ain't gonna come to play with him. Chess ain't gonna come to play. Chess. Um. I think he didn't got past that choking phase and. Throwing up on stage phase. But it ain't about then. It's about now. What's going to happen now? And I think, man, this this hey, they finna talk. This going to be mad struggle bars. It, hey, I ain't really got much to say about this one, man. It's going to be a dope battle, though. Like I said, ain't nobody going to win this one. It's going to be 2-1 either way. It's going to take. It's gonna come down to preference. Like what you really want to hear. Let's see the next one. Ooh, K-Shine versus Hollow the Dawn. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, Houston, they love um, Hollow down there in Houston, man. K-Shine, he one of them goats. I got this one, K-Shine, 2-0. I mean, 2-1. And 
And I I, I want to say thirty, but I ain't gonna I ain't never seen Hollow get thirty, man. But right now I'm I'm going with K Shine all the way on this three, oh, cause I ain't no Hollow fan like, mm. -hmm. Now they know Hollow fans just I want to hear that, that more aggressive stuff. I don't want to got the ding dong ding. -dong. I want to hear that stuff he's talking, man. I want to hear that thug shit. I'm hear that, you know. I'm not saying he ain't no thug and nothing like that. I'm just saying like. K. Shine been smoking. I think he he ran into that little stumble. Who was it? Chilla. He ran into that little Chilla Jones battle. I think he tried to write for Chilla. Like, try to do what Chilla do. Do K. Shine, man. I'm telling you, K. Shine put his hands on his hips and start barking on niggas, man. Hey, that's going to be a battle. I got I got Shine 3 0 flat out. Um, Houston Love. They love him, though. They love um, Hollow. So ain't no like the crowd. The crowd gonna be smoking, man. I, I can't wait for this, man. It's gonna be live on the Caffeine app for free. If y'all ain't gonna watch this, man, y'all crazy. Coming up this Saturday, Summer Madness Eleven. Y'all gotta check this out, man. Who uh, who next? Who next? Geechee, Gotti, and Calico. This one of them ones, man. This the battle of the street, niggas. Geechee, Gotti versus Calico. It's West Coast versus Midwest. Um. This this is another hard one to pick. Like we won, the fans gonna win on this. But you gotta ask me. I'm going with Calico. Calico do not play either. Like Geechee been on the road. He getting fat now. He didn't want all that money. Calico he still want to prove that he the the top gangster in URL or in battle rap. He got something to prove. He he got nothing to prove because he ain't got to prove nothing to nobody, man. That's one thing I like about Calico. Calico is Calico wherever he go. I, I can't say that about too many battle rappers, man. I say Calico and Jay Murder. They don't never change, man. Jay Murder, Jay Murder, everywhere Jay Murder go. And Calico is Calico everywhere he go. It don't matter. That's why I got to pick Calico on this, man. Calico. Um, 2-1. It's, it's a preference battle. Like I said, like, Geechee ain't going to come to play. I just think the shit going to land different with Calico. Because he got... He got a little bit more to prove. I think he wanted to keep proving that he better than the rest of these dudes, man. And I'm going with Calico, 2-1. Even though Geechee been smoking. He been smoking stuff, man, for the longest. When it comes, like, he ain't going to bully him. He ain't going to do like he did. What's my man named? Snake Eyes. I mean, Snake Eyes. Who else? Who else he bullied like that? Um, Math. Like, these, these dudes got respect for each other, first of all. They both going to come 100 deep. Um, it ain't gonna be none of that. They like each other, blase, blase. But when they come down to that street shit, it's gonna be calico, cause you know, I like that a little bit better. I can relate to him more, cause I'm from the East Coast. So calico, three one. Who the hell calling me? Hold on, man. Surfing, John John. Oh, who the hell is this? Hello. Now we don't do no watched out. All right, fuck out of here, man! Fucking up my video, surfing John John. Somebody trying to damn trying to sell something. Don't sell me nothing. Surfing John John coming up though, man. Um, this is the return to surf. Surf been sitting down for a while, man. Surf he is um full blown analyst now. I gotta give him his props, man. When it come down to sitting there talking it talk, he be talking it, man, like, for us, like, getting the people back what they want to hear, like, doing the, um, the caffeine battles and stuff. He be talking that stuff, man. He, he, he got the right words to say, but he ain't no analyst no more. Not today. I mean, not, um, Saturday, September 25th. He gonna be a battle rapper again. And he been waiting for this battle for a long time, John John has. And he finally got Surf in the crosshairs, man. He finna pick off Surf. To me, that's what I think. I think John John got this. Flat out. He might be a 2-1. Um, Surf ain't coming with a third. He might jersey out. Um, we gotta see what kind of antic or tactic John John got. He been, John John been wanting this battle forever. So, I know he prepared. Bullpen. I don't know, man. I, I just got John John for this one. I think this is like the co-main event because Surf and the, um, 
you know, Surf on the car. So, you know, he got to be up top of that card, man. But I don't know what Surf going to do, man. Surf is going to talk about money, basketball. Um, You've been chasing me forever. John John going to talk about he's been ducking me forever. It's going to be one of them ones, man. It's going to be like a real good performance battle. It's going to be a lot of stuff in this, man. So it's, it should be dope. I know it's going to be a long-ass night for this card. Who else, man? And last but not least, Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars. This is that smack battle right here. This ain't no URL. This is smack DVD. This shit must have went down millions of years ago. I ain't a fan of this battle. Just because I ain't from that era. Like, I know both of them didn't did their thing last time we seen Reed. I think he smoked um, Nitty. Murder Mook, he be punching people. And then knock the whole man out the um, battle rap scene. Briz gone, ain't been back since. He been MIA. I think, um, who Murder Mook smoked? He smoked Tay Rock. I think he did a couple. Um, he lost the verb. I don't care what nobody said. He lost the verb to me. But um, I don't really care about this battle. I don't really want to see it. This should be first. It shouldn't even be last. It should not be the main event. But they got so much lineage and stuff like, yo, man, that's Murder Mook. Just read. Put them back on the card last. Make them feel good. I'm going to tell you right now, man. My favorite battle rappers has got to be um, Charlie Clips, Goods, K-Shine and Briz. That's my favorite four. But when we come down to Mount Rushmore, I say it's Diz, A-Verb, Arsenal, and DNA. It's weird, ain't it? My favorites versus the the um, Mount Rushmore. I, I say they Mount Rushmore because they didn't did it all, man. And I put I don't put Mook and Lux on my um, Mount Rushmore. They only had like probably 15 battles between them. I don't even think they had that many battles between them. So that's why I can't... I don't care how much they did put on for the culture and all this stuff. They is not on my Mount Rushmore. They ain't had enough battles, man. But yo, I'm up out of here, man. Summer Madness 11. Um, going down on the Caffeine app Saturday, September 25th. Y'all check it out, man. Y'all can check me out right here on this channel, man. I go live every Friday. I don't talk about battle rap, though. I talk about all kind of crazy stuff. But every Friday at 9 p.m., y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pippin' that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.